Yay! All right, hello, hello, Danger Noodles. Oh. Uh, anyways, uh, basically, we're now gonna be hunting for this Pokemon, and did you know that humans were born out of eggs? The more you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, yeah, it, it's works. true. We I was born out of an egg. We are Livarius. No. We give life birth. We are not born out of eggs. Counter yes. argument. Uh, counter argument. This is this is this is me. This is counter argument. Me. Look at me. I put myself in stream planning. Look at me. I'm staring at you. I'm gonna bite your knees. Okay. I don't- I don't know why someone took a picture of a penguin from that angle. Like it's not- it's not a hard angle to take a, pe a picture of a penguin- a penguin from, because they're small. But, I don't know why- because they're supposed to- you're supposed to make them look majestic, but instead, that one's just- it's That's just, Bob. That's Bob. That, that's Bob. He's really mad when people make fun of his height. <laughs> he is a short king. He's a Gentoo penguin. I love Gentoo penguin. They have a little, they have a little, you know, you see the little thing on his head that connects his eyes. Yeah, all Gentoo penguin have that. I don't know what. Oh, it's okay. It's a baby. It's a baby eating from an adult, but it looks really fucking dumb. Um, look. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Consume like child. <laughs> <laughs> my first Consume. my first my first thought was that like <laughs> this was like a reverse like image of like <laughs> my brain it's like a rubber toy that is the that is the penguin baby and it's getting sucked into a vacuum cleaner <laughs> it's the, the the penguin is kirby Also, just this, just 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 get two penguin, get two penguins are truly a delight. <laughs> scream, scream at the father. I don't, I I don't know if those are baby Gentoo. Okay, they are baby Gentoo. They're baby, they're chick, they're chicks. They were babies. Will no, did you know demons. Gentoo penguin? Oh, if you're gonna what keep... the hell is that sandwich? If you're gonna keep sending pictures, wanna just do it in the, uh, like, live chat function? Oh, yeah, Discord. Yeah. Wait, part of my sandwich phased through the bread. <laughs> hmm. Okay, one of my Pokemon deadass when I was fighting Larry phased through the floor. She was stuck in the floor the entire fucking fight. Uh, Tinkaton. And the thing is, apparently that happens frequently she just sinks through the floor like other i've seen people fight uh in certain arenas with tinkaton competitively and she just sinks through the fucking floor apparently the sandwich was delicious watch it not be the right sandwich nah. no nope. i'm guessing you were trying to make the ultra egg sandwich but for some here's... reason, the cheese and onions face through the bread. Here, here's another baby eating. It's... It's cursed. Like, all, all birds do that, where the baby eats like that from, from the parent, but... It's just really cursed. Yeah. I'm gonna find where Oricorio is. I get it's the near flying. where you spawn. Thanks. You spawn anywhere in the Pokemon world. That that's very where helpful. your mother drops you off. Oh, it's oh. Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Hi. Why do you sound dead, Bright? I'm always dead inside. Don't don't say that. She's also isn't she canonically a corpse? No. She's no. canonically stuck in an amulet, and then if someone has that amulet put onto them, she takes over their body. 
Mm. Like, canonically, just a, a corpse just walking around. <laughs> You are... you are corpse. That is she you. She is not corpse. She is. Also, Bright, you know you could check your Pokédex, right? Hush. It said it was around this area, too. Well, they don't... Pokémon don't spawn in towns. Okay, so, so it'll probably be right about here. If anyone wants some penguin delight, I put some pictures of penguins in... in, in the... voice chat. I have no interest. Oh. Even with the flying thing. A... I'm not... You don't want to see a baby flexing? What the hell? <laughs> what happened to that hop -ip? They died. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? It flew. No, they're being like yeeted by the goddamn wind. It looks They are sick. literally an airborne seed. Fair point. But also, like, like Jesus Christ. Is literally exactly what they're supposed to do. I know, but it's like, holy fuck. It's like, what? what? You didn't expect to see nature take its course? Yeah. It's like, it's like what's this? I don't understand why there's dandelion seeds flying around quickly. Actually, you want to know a fucked up thing about the dandelion no. Pokemon? Jump fluff? You wanna know a fucked up thing? When it le le uh, when it loses all of its seeds that are like the little white balls, right? Little puff balls. When it loses all the seeds in those puff balls, it fucking dies. So that that is the cycle. Yeah, I'm literally right where it says it's supposed to be. Well look for flowers, dumbass. She's literally standing next to flowers. Look harder. Damn it, wrong bird. Wrong bird. <laughs> What's the, the fucking hop -ip? I don't think they're supposed to go that fast. I think that's the issue. They're not supposed to go that fast. Well, they are. The hop -ip is supposed to go that fast. The wind they isn't even that up. strong. They've set up in this game that certain things happen at certain weathers. So the team literally set it up so if it's rainy and windy, the hoppets fly. Oh, there's a, there's a flower hill. I think that's where it spawns. But also, do you know how fucking buggy this game is? That's also true. They, also like, they, they might be... To, if it rains on the beach, the sand gas melts. Yeah, but they don't fucking, like, fly at 70 miles per hour in light wind. Hoppips do. Hoppip? How do I- Okay. Right. Can you check the weight of a hoppip? No. You can do it yourself. Uh, I'll check. I am busy. Fry. Lazy child. Fuck you. What is the weight of a hoppip? <laughs> One angry... pound. They weigh one was, pound. Was an angry bird just sprinting up to you there a second ago? Yeah. They were. Okay, Is that a magic carp in that pool? Is that a magic carp? No. Oh no, it's just another one of those birds. But the thing is, Fletchling is only like two pounds more than a hoppip, and they aren't flying away. Like, they aren't being drugged 70 they miles per hour in the wind. The bird is not designed to fly in the wind. Well, then what is it know. supposed to do? I... It's a bird. Wait, so Jerry, specifically, do you know that the devs intended for this to happen? Because I think they're supposed because to again, fly we're... away, but not that fast. Yeah, because again, we're talking about a game that is notoriously buggy. Because like they're probably okay. Jigglypuff also do it. The entire Jigglypuff. I'll look it up right now. The entire Jigglypuff line also does the same thing, but they do it a lot slower. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be that fucking fast. It is not spawning. I don't think the bird likes you. What First, are you looking for? The freaking dancing bird, bitch. Oh, yeah. I don't think the bird likes you. The birds that give me complex emotions. They are birds. 
Yes. Seems and like other people are also uh, commenting that Hophead flies get blown away during stormy weather. Hmm. Many, some people think it's uh, a glitch. Many think that it's intentional. It also happens to Jigglypuff. Okay, right. So if you want the red one, there's actually a different location. I'm putting it in stream chat. But I mean, uh, in that in case, voice chat. it spawns in it. The red one spawns in a different location. But I mean, in in that case, like, doesn't that kind of lessen the chances that it's intentional if another Pokemon that's like sh that there's no reason why they would be getting blown around like that well, has it Jigglypuff happened to them? Literally, looks like a ball of air. I think ball of air. Looks like a ball of air or is a ball of air? You've not posted any. Wait. Uh, I put in mm. the, the, the voice call chat. Yeah. Also, Jigglypuff way more than Hoplum and Skip Bloom and all. Yeah, Hoplip. Hoplip. They all weigh. Jigglypuff way more. But, like. Jigglypuff only weighs one pound more and Jigglypuff don't get. Jigglypuff don't get dragged away that quickly. I think I think it might be a glitch. I don't think Hopip are supposed to be drugged that like fast. No, wait. Imagine if it's fucking like stormy and shit, and you find a shiny Hopip, and it just gets just drug away. Oh dear God. Uh, and especially with how small the spawn zone is, you would have to fucking like full sprint for it. Oh, that's terrible. Wrong bird again. Oh, finally. Kill. Oh, yep. Kill. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Kill. It counts. Bird. Fight bird. bird yep, it's the bird that gives me odd feelings. I mean, it is a Spanish answer. And we're about to make it black. Kill. Kill bird. Are you trying to kill it? Yeah, bird's shiny hunting. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, did you say bird's shiny hunting? Like? Uh, it. They go black. Oh. Yeah, they put on a black dress with red highlights. Without context, that sounds really bad. Sounds bad unless you say it right. <laughs> I don't think anyone says for shiny they go black besides you. Balls trending on Twitter. Is it baseball? Oh, it's just a really fat cat. <laughs> Look at this fucking cat. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with that cat? Oh my god, why? It's just a ball. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Who pasted, I don't know if I can walk. Who pasted a cat head onto that ball? <laughs> it's just a fucking... It's just a ball. Okay. Okay, there's one thing Apparently... I want to... Apparently... Oh. oh, sorry. There's sorry. one thing Keep I want up. to say. You know those shiny swamp blue I caught? Mm. When I, I decided, you know what? I'm curious. How many swamp blue did I actually kill before it appeared? And I did see the actual number. It was 15. Sam. So I decided I decided to see the chances of it by doing math. By de dividing 15 by 2,000. That's the shiny math. Odds. And um, it's 0.0075%. And that would be time... That that you would need to, right? Uh, oh. Because it happened twice. Well, the second time it was with five encounters, because I saved. Ah, uh, all right, right, right. Which is zero point zero zero two five percent. So I got like extremely lucky with the Swablu. <laughs> and you were getting pissy. 
So, to my knowledge, the reason that Balls is trending on Twitter is because of a bunch of cats named Balls. Or Ball. Or cats, like, playing... With, like... I don't, what, I don't know what that is. It's, it's just a weird clump of balls. I think it's a cat toy? It's a weird looking cat toy and the images are very, like, low pixel. But it's a, it's a cat! I love cats. Cats are cool. It does look like they are living in a hotel. But that is fine. For now. What, what does that even mean, Bright? Don't worry are, about it. Bright, are you going to assassinate them? Maybe. Bright! I think Bright's committing a heck in classism. Maybe. Or maybe she's going to give them, like, millions of dollars so that they can live in a nice fancy house instead of out of a hotel. Because no. as someone who has lived out of a hotel for, like, a month or two, it's not that fun. Especially I during a hurricane. comment that as they are wild Pokemon, I do not think they live in hotels. I think they live in the wild. <laughs> I was talking Wait. about... I was, what? <laughs> what? I, I was talking about the picture that I put in, in recording in VC the chat. Oh, the picture you put in, v, in, in VC. Oh, yes. the cat. The cat. Yes. The fat cat. Cat cat. Cat named that Balls. Looks like they need to go on a diet, otherwise they'll die. The second one. Second cat. What is wrong with that second cat? Nothing. But the first cat, the really chunky cat, is named Balls. Also, Bright, isn't it if you kill like those groups of birds, like Murkrow? Won't more Oricorio spawn? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Kill it's... all the birds. They're know. all... They all work for the government. Kill them. Kill. Uh, Kill. Can uh, we just ignore the psycho child? Yes. Kill. Also, Bright, the next time that you eat a sandwich, make it a fire sandwich. Then you'll get more Oricorio spawns. Kill, bird. Kill, bird. Bird to die. Birds are cool. I hey, thought I child. was just here. Child, child, uh, child. Real quick. Uh, do you really uh, want to be encouraging killing birds when three people in here are birds and one of you. the birds is encouraging <laughs> the death of other birds? <laughs> it's it's called it's yeah. You're getting so psycho, the snake is judging you. Hey, Jerry. Don't you I have eat a, birds? I have a question. What? Yeah. Uh, how do you do art without ar arms or legs? Yeah, how do you do that, actually? I'm sorry. I am a snake demon. I have a people form, I have an animal form. Which one do you think I do art with? <laughs> The Snake animal form. form. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I've seen, I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen snakes do art, uh, and they use their tails. It's actually really cute. Like, like people have pet snakes, and I they they get their snakes to hand. like color in. And penguins, just so you know, sea snakes do not eat birds. They eat fish. fish? I mean, I'd imagine they'd eat birds if they got the chance or needed to. Yeah, like seagulls. There was some weird freak reason that they needed to eat birds. I'm not even sure they would eat birds because they wouldn't know they could eat it. I mean, we've so got... They're like, dumb. They are I, I... evolved to specifically eat <gasps> fish. So oh. they're dumb. Oh, yeah, no. but... Okay, then does that mean that they're less intelligent than Wells catfish? Because, like, juvenile Wells catfish literally hunt birds on the shore. That is kind of psycho. Yeah, like, they will bait the birds in and then they will grab birds. I'm going to look up, can two snakes eat 
birds. In sick birds. <laughs> Watch it like say yes, they actively hunt seagulls. Oh, yeah. They can eat birds. <laughs> so what was that about oh, not eating wait, birds? No, it, oh. it, it, it looked it up wrong. They took it as can sea snakes eat birds too? Can snakes eat birds? Which is a different question. Uh. Can Festus eat birds? I mean, yeah. Festus, you monster. Have they ever given you a dead bird as a present? No. My Festus is not evil. I heard you yes. cats, like, do that. Like, they give dead animals oh, to no, their owners. Oh, no. I can explain. Festus? I can Festus? explain. I feel like... Can sea snakes eat birds is just a question nobody has ever asked the internet, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Hatchet, you're saying? Alright, go ahead, child. Okay, so, the reason that birds give people, like, dead animals, like, especially it's rats... Cats give white birds. <laughs> cats straight. Uh, no, okay. well, in, like, cats... Why cats give like dead birds and dead mice. The reason that they do that is because so the reason that they meow at you is because they think you're a stupid dumb baby. They think you're a dumb little baby, so the reason that they're giving you these dead animals, sometimes even alive animals, is because they think you cannot feed yourself. They think you're dumb. That's why. Actually, that's <laughs> one of the reasons cats do it. Sometimes they, they do it to, to try to show their thanks and to feed you. Did you know that certain animals just generally actually have an ability to show reciprocity? I don't know what that word means. It's kind of big. Reciprocate. Ah, okay. Reciprocity is the process of reciprocating continually. That's a lot of big it words. Is saying thank you. Yeah. But to clarify, is... but to clarify, Festus has never brought me a dead bird or a dead mouse. But what he does do is occasionally grab one of the cat cat toys, like cat balls and cat mice we have around here, and bring that to me while screaming angry like like he's just like yelling his fucking head off while he walks down the stairs and then he gives it to me that is the sweetest way of saying thank you i've ever heard fastest is baby it makes for a really good uh analogy on fostering reciprocity with the gods as well like i think i think oceans made the uh, a similar analogy where it's like uh cats can show reciprocity to us by getting into our lap and purring and you could view ritual as a, a, a purr for the gods um i think it's even better with festus because like the gods have reasonably no actual use for physical offerings like they i just don't really see how they would have an actual use for it but in doing the offering in showing thanks in that manner you're engaging in that sort of reciprocity in the same way that it doesn't matter how shit mood i am i am in if festus comes up to me and gives me a cat toy like, every part of my body is happy. Okay, question. If you... If you used... Could the gods use a blunt as an offering? Because if you... If you if you let it... If you light it on fire and you let it just kind of, like, smoke out... Couldn't they use that? Because it's not physical anymore. It's smoke. Can the gods use a that nuke sounds... as an offering? No, <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I think maybe, the maybe if is you're a lot like, less harmful for the environment. Maybe if you're like trying to 
like deify cert or some shit. <laughs> but no, that's no. <laughs> Generally speaking, I think most deities throughout history would actually look like would actually fucking hate you for doing something like that. What's wrong? It's... In my head. Would they prefer edibles? <laughs> but no, I mean no, I'm talking about the nuke thing. Okay, thank fuck it's not about weed. <laughs> no, the, the weed thing, I'm not gonna lie, that just straight up sounds like something I'd expect a Lokian to do. No, cause li no, cause literally it makes so much sense, honestly. It's of like all yeah, people. It's, it's or or also just, it's literally just drug incense in that way. I mean I think a good rule of thumb, with especially, like, Greek specifically, because I was going to mention, like, maybe Athena, because, like, she is, you know, she's, she's, she's a lady. She's, she's just, yeah, I wouldn't imagine being the goddess of wisdom, and especially in this age, is a very relaxing activity. It could work for... Being chaotic, it could also work for like, you know, I, I, I don't know. Nah. Let the gods de-stress, especially nowadays. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Imagine watching over mortals for God's knows who, how long, and then you just you see how everything is going, and you're just going, wow. Wow. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is like, certainly something. Like, bruh. <laughs> I, I just imagine fucking Odin and Athena having like, having like a tea party together chatting. And it's like, have you seen that thing where like some humans are like cooking chicken in NyQuil? Have you seen that shit? <laughs> <laughs> that actually is pretty deadly. I feel like the gods are generally neutral on humans. Unless they try to contact the god. Okay, can I explain how cooking with NyQuil is very deadly? We already oh, know. Shit. We, we know. Wait, so you know it produces aerosol when cooked? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Also, besides that deadly part, the other deadly part is people who cook with NyQuil typically use an overdose amount. So there's multiple reasons why it's basically death. You know what? When they die, uh, my my family will just say this, as they see, say with any stupid person that dies, there's one less stupid person in the world. That's valid. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing. Stupidity is like a hydra. Like... Cut off one head and two more are gonna take its place. Yeah. I'm just scrolling through Tumblr, finding Wait, that Wait, I just started to think about, you know how my character that goes from norm normalcy, it, like, doesn't really like humanity? Mm. What if they found out about the whole NyQuil and chicken thing? They <laughs> probably the encourage it. <laughs> they I think your like... character would just straight up end humanity. Mm. No, I think they would encourage it. Yeah, they would encourage it. <laughs> like, of all the... Like, yeah, keep in mind. If, of all the things, if NyQuil... If Chicken and NyQuil is the thing that makes the glitch of normalcy just give up on keeping humans around, <laughs> then they need better standards. Yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't... It wasn't uh, dropping nukes on civil... On, on, on populated areas. It wasn't... It wasn't all all of the bad shit that also happened in World War II. It, it wasn't, wasn't systemic racism. Disease, of death. It wasn't any of that. It wasn't spreading disease. It wasn't any of this shit. No. It was the chicken and NyQuil. That's 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 what that's what Yeah, that, that, Patrick that has was. a point. It's not gonna put the glitch any further than it already is. I mean, I still remember my college history class 
It felt like every chapter had a new mass death of a different group of people. You know, I was sort of thinking while you were talking about that, I was like, I just imagined a glitch just going out of the aim it to a random person. It's like, here, want to do the time challenge? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I hope while you are all having a very serious conversation, I hope you all know that I am putting very many <laughs> cats in in the little chat. It's What's very you many. Doing there? What's he's, you doing there? He's trying to contact you about your extended warranty for life uh, and your lungs because he would gladly steal your lungs. Look at that face. No, I think I think he's trying to sell you some extremely illegal shit. He just like he just like knocks on your door, like he's he's doing like door to door salesmanship. Except it's like, <laughs> hey there, kid, would you like to have some? Uh, some, <laughs> some <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Patch it, patch it. So you know how Khajiit, depending on the moon phase, take on different forms, right? Some it's just them, a Khajiit. Yeah. Khajiit has wa has wares if you have coin. Well, that's the thing. Like, it's it's not that like for the most part they don't like take on a form. They're they're not like wear cats. Okay. Well, some of them are, but that's like a different thing. I thought what it was it is, when they're that, born. Like, yeah, when they're born. The yeah. They they have different body types, and yeah, some some Khajiit are literally just house cats, but that mm -hmm. are smart. <laughs> see, see, he's just a Khajiit. He has wares if you have coin. Do you Khajiit have coin? Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Do you have coin? Give him coin. I have no he will coin. Give you, he will give you a spoon. He is too small to hold much, much stuff. He will give you coin. Khajiit has wares, you have coin. <laughs> and like, it opens like the Skyrim dialogue <laughs> menu. And the only thing, like, 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 it's nothing but misc items. You go to the misc items, and it's like a spoon, a dead rat, vomit, <laughs> hairball. Like, yeah, hairball. <laughs> Clumped up fur, nail clipping. A communist manifesto. A health potion. <laughs> a communist manifesto and a health potion. The communist manifesto is free. Yeah, that's actually okay. There's actually one thing I want to say. When I when I was creating the glitch's name, I didn't know that normalcy was a word. I mean that makes sense because you are anything but normal. Good point, yeah. But how do you how how have you never heard of the word normalcy? It's not very common word. It in it is it, it is very quite common actually. I've heard it pretty frequently. Well, Especially, I've never heard it. But but don't but don't forget we're also talking to the lady right. who would uh oh oh I forget the word that you had never heard of and then we mocked you over. Uh, start with an A. I can't. Why am accuracy? I forgetting it now? It's not accuracy, is it? It's artichoke. No, <laughs> no it's not that either. <laughs> it's not artichoke because you just said the goddamn word. Accuracy? I think it's accuracy. No. No, it's not. No, it's not that. I just said it's not that. I, I did archery. Why would you think I wouldn't know what accuracy is? <laughs> You're not the brightest crayon in the box. I was pretty decent. What do you think of that dog? <laughs> Old Yeller. I think, I think that's no! uh, I think that's one hell of a pooch. Nose, very nosy dog. Oh wait, I was. Oh my God, that's his nose. <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was like a picture of like. His back, and then his eyes were his ears. <laughs> Are you sure that's not what it is? That's what it looks that's like. That's his to nose. Me. Right, you have a dog. That you know that that's what dog noses look like. No, like their fur. Yeah, you can see the little yeah. the nose. Is, his nose is clean. Do you know? Do you know how how long it's been since I've had a dog with a long snoot? 
let alone a dog that has a fucking foot long snoot? I think it's just the angle. Probably is, but why'd you send this? <laughs> Cat. Uh. Oh yeah, also because of Hades 2 coming out, this this portrait has to be updated. I fucking love that portrait from Hades 1. It's so fucking good. It's so good. Well, it's I mean, so if it's... Good. Well, I mean... That portrait might not need to be updated because, like, if it's another child of Hades that's, like, not actually going to be in the house of Hades... Also, the pronouns, she, her, they, them, cool hat. Hmm. Is that right, true? are your pronouns cool hat? Maybe. Is that actually their pronouns? No. Oh. No, it's just, it's, it's a me. It's it's just the funny. What is wrong with this cat? Why? Why? Although, why do, like, no, that is not. That is not the picture I wanted to send. Um, although I forgot his name, but he does kind of. He does Harvey. kind of. Yeah, he, he does kind of give off envy energy to me. No, he, a, a dragon. His name's not Ar Arvin. It's Argon. It's not Argon. You stupid fuck. Also, who filed the cat wrong? The cat sweepy. Arvin. What do you mean the cat sweepy? Oh, as in the, the filing. Okay. You said the cat sweepy when posting a cat with a shower cap on. <laughs> the cat is very aware. He's like, okay, fine. You're gonna give me a bath, but you ain't get my ears wet this time. I keep finding this goddamn cat. Look at this fucking cat. Look at this fuck. I I don't I don't <laughs> understand. Oh, <God. laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. How many drugs did they inject into that creature? Many. It's no longer oh, a creature. God. It's it looks, gremlin. It looks like a cat version of an anglerfish. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also did some more math, um, but, um, basically I decided, I saw that basically roughly where I get my shinies is around 800 to 1,000 oh. area, so I looked at it, and it's pretty much, like, 38% to 50% encounter rate, pretty much. Then I actually get oh. shinies, which is actually pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> I just killed my son. Oh! Why did you... Why would you do that? Well, now I shall rest. What is... Look at this cat. <laughs> oh my, that is a demon. <laughs> Someone got Loki, we found one of their kids. Fucking glowing eyes and shit. Why Why do cats' eyes glow like that, though? Uh, it's, the wa it's the light reflecting off them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it shouldn't be that glowing. fucking bright. It shouldn't be that bright. I mean, have you yeah. seen a reflect? Like, have you looked out the window at night and seen a reflector on the side of a road? Yeah. It will show up as being very bright because it's reflecting the light that is coming into it. Good point. Also, I'm gonna make that image worse. Oh no. I am so happy I took a Photoshop class. Now I oh, can no. make art. Oh no. I also, like, ended up in a bit of a social. Sh sh social got... op. Photoshop class, but I don't remember jack shit from it. Well, I'm not even using Photoshop, I'm using fucking paint.net. Uh, 
Why fuck not that. use Pixlr? Uh, fuck you. That's why. Jeez. Sorry, that was me. That was unnecessary. Sorry. You're not gonna get any no macaroni. I love macaroni. They don't know okay. manners. They don't know social, uh, social talk. They know aggression. It's social etiquette, you mean? Yes. They social don't know talk. social talk. Why do I find that so funny? Because it is. <laughs> Look at this fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. It, now it's like he's got headlights. Hey, like you're on like this side. Like he's looking at you, and his eyes are spotlights. <laughs> no, it'd be better if you made all the surroundings darker. So it's like he's just sitting there in the dark, and you've got a flashlight beam on him. Right, you can't host picnics in cities. There. I was literally just one pixel away from the city. Right, this is not a pixel game. Penguin, even no. though it is 3D, it still uses pickle pixels. <laughs> it still pickle. uses pickles. pickles. <laughs> it still uses I mean... <laughs> Right, do you have the... any pickles? Yeah. I said pixels. I mean, I mean, looking at the code for this game, I wouldn't be surprised if it was made out of pickles. Fire. Fire. This game fire, is made fire. using a single gherkin. What's a gherkin? It's like a really, really small German pickle. Oh. To some people, that would be average size pickle. I mean, I guess. God, why does the game want you to make lopsided sandwich? What is... What is wrong with this cat? Buddy! No! <laughs> <laughs> the cat has no face. I'm just gonna say this. When you guys are talking about sizes... God damn it. Dumbass. I said, like, uh, oh, to her, so I gotta make that again. But when you guys were talking about sizes, I was thinking something else. Yes. I was that as was, well, but I didn't the say it. It was Journey going to park the smoke. My Tumblr dash is just full filled with cats. But also, I think it's important to mention, uh... The thing that's happening to that cat is they do not- it's- it's not that they're missing their face, they have shoved their face into the person's shirt sleeve. Yeah, but- <laughs> Oh, well I still got the encounter power of fire, so it doesn't matter if I messed it up. Yeah. I just have so many cats. This one has a banana hat. Oh, God damn it. They phased the, the bird phased out of existence because I got too close to the city. I too phase out of existence when the player gets too close to the city. Just all these cats. Ah oh, yes, I love making a species come endangered in order to get a shiny. I mean, you could also make your ditto with a very fun name. Make babies to have 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 shiny, but no. I forgot what you named your ditto. The P prostitute. Uh, dragon. That's what you named it. You... Okay, but you don't have to say it. Yes. <laughs> we wanted to know. And she would have understood when I said P word. We're dealing with you. <laughs> They well, would've... I also, well, I also, I would have assumed something else. Yeah, there, but you there's know always how the, many... But there's always the option of, I don't know, someone who's not a fucking child sending it to me <laughs> I must gift knowledge. 
That is what I'm good for. No, oh, it really isn't. Oh. Well, I'm good at giving cat pictures. Look at all those cats. Dragon I have to kill a woman. What? Dragon will get themselves cancelled. All I said was a job! What? You're a, a child. That's why. Okay! I killed a woman. I think hot? that's gonna- I think- I feel like Hatchet's more likely to get cancelled than I am. Hatchet's playing Mortal Kombat, it doesn't count. No, I'm we not! We don't know this. We don't know that. Yes, we know it. No, we don't. What I like murdering I'm cops. Mortal Kombat a lot lately. I am currently not playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't- yeah. I don't think he, uh, Jiri heard me. What'd you say? I said yes, I like I murdering know. cops. We know. That's totally yeah. based. Yeah, ba- Well, one, you're not gonna want to say that without <laughs> any sort of context, because you're the streamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And second, I mean, and like Twitch staff is very well known for coming to the defense of people who don't need to be defended. Uh, and second, I love this image. Yeah, babe, I'm totally. <laughs> I don't understand how he has fish in his skull, and I can't tell if it's Photoshop. Because I think fun. it is. <laughs> what do you. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Let's have this perfectly normal, alive person come in for an x-ray. What's this? There's three large fish in his head? Fucking weird, bro. No shit, it's Photoshop. I'm not very smart, okay? It's no a new shit. SCP. It's a new SCP. Oh my yeah. god, that sounds brilliant. Oh. Like fish a brain. parasitic fish that, like, eats out people's brain and starts to pile <laughs> their bodies. You're, you are a gambler. We already have a crab that does that. Oh yeah, but fish is better. Hear me out, what about this seal? I am. <laughs> what about seal? What's most fucked up about the crab thing is when they're done, they literally do a chest burster on the face. Ugh. Gross. My son's awesome. girlfriend just shot me in the chest. When did you have a son? Because I'm Kenshi. Who the fuck is Kenshi? A type of food. I think you're thinking of kimchi. <laughs> that was the I'm joke, dragon. You're all stupid. I I know I'm stupid. Thanks for explaining my joke, dragon. Ah, ah, you can't be mean to me. I'm yes, I'm the boomer. Can. I'm oh no, fuck you. You can be mean to me no. if you want to. No. No. I revoke her- I revoke her being mean card. She can't be mean anymore. Fuck you. But Fuck you. That's not how it works. Also, uh, Jiri, I have a serious question to ask you. Sure, it's serious. How gay are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you can look at the conversation I had with Penguin yesterday. Also, Hatchet went on mute. We're having a okay. make-out session with a what? Mortal Kombat character. That's all. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hedge is gonna kill me later. I'm- I'm probably guessing because Hatchet typed something, but it didn't send. I'm gonna guess Hatchet went to take, like, a piss or something. What? Don't worry about it. 
I am incredibly worried on what goes on in your brain. Should we go catch? Should we? Should we check in you into a doctor? I am the doctor. <laughs> no, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, you are not a doctor. That's like saying Rick from Rick and Morty is a doctor. He's not. He's an asshole. He's technically a type of doctor, just not a medical professional. Yeah, so they technically still are a doctor, Dragon. Fuck you. I hate Rick and Morty. That's fine. You shouldn't it's be bad. watching it anyway, you're a kid. It's a bad show. That's your own opinion. Other people only it, I am correct. Is it... Not every opinion is correct, Rackin. Right. For several episodes. They go on and on about the fucking space giant baby that the two siblings made. Okay. By doing... Yeah. That's like... And also, just they, they also keep doing the plot point of the I word where you keep it in the family. They keep doing that as a storyline. And one of the characters is underage, younger than I am. Okay, so, uh, I mean, Disney pretty much shipped a. a th uh, a guy in their thirties with a child. They probably did that a few times. Yeah. So yeah. Well, Disney fucking sucks, and everyone knows that. So fuck Disney. So it's. But not... also fuck Rick and Morty, because all their writer, uh, all their writers are dickheads, and the, they're really fucking bad at their Drake, job. The point I'm trying to make is what you're saying isn't uncommon in cartoons. Okay, that doesn't make them fucking good. If anything, that's a fucking issue. That's a lot of lions. Kill the babies, Bright. I don't, kill I'm them. Not going for a shiny. Leo. You can still kill them to get more of the spawn you want. No. Yeah. Kill babies. Kill. Kill babies. Also, are 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 like that. Like, mm -hmm. we're just full birds. Yeah. Mm. Patch return. is back. I, I return with mac and cheese and an, an, an immeasurable amount of headache pain. Hey, oh. that shit. Um, oh. I have a question. How is your makeout session with the Mortal Kombat character? I can, I'm convinced Bright is trying to get herself shot. Which Mortal Kombat character? Any of them. Yeah. Oh. I'm yeah. gonna guess it was a big buff man. That's my guess. What? Why not a buff woman? Cause I'm taking all the buff women. They're mine. <laughs> You're not a woman for them. You know what? You know what? Just because you said that, I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss Jacqueline Briggs. Who is a a, a a buff lady that is the child of uh, Jax? I was gonna kiss Melina. Who the fuck is Melina? You, we've been over this so many times. Dragon I am stupid. Not very smart. Piranha teeth lady. Okay. Uh. Ah, it's a it really feels unique like you name. Purposely picked the most tough as nailed lady as possible to purposely just hang one off. Yes. So, it, it would be either her or Sonya Blade, but so. Well, actually, come to think of it, both of them work for the military. No, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I'll kiss Melina. Thank you. you could get 
No. I mean, if you think about it, a hatchet, Melina can give you one hell of a hickey. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that's what a hickey is. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Right. A hickey does not entail someone biting your face off. Yeah, I don't... Right, I don't know. I don't think you know what a hickey is. Shush. You know. Look. Mm, are we sure? Shut up, yeah. right? I know what it is. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. The least person I have faith in to know what a hickey is is the only asexual in the room. He knows. <laughs> You do realize these people can have hickeys. Yes. <laughs> I know. Are we sure? But also, the child knows that ace people. I know. Are. I know, but. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure Bright still owns a vacuum cleaner. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> No! Yeah. No! <laughs> that insinuates so much. No! Yes, yes, I know what it insinuates. We're moving on. <laughs> you mean you wash the machine? Or vacuum cleaner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just. I didn't even hear what you said. I said you mean you abortion no, machine? Don't say it. Don't say it again. <laughs> I knew what you Don't repeat the thing. Okay. <laughs> Not that's not how abortions are done. It is if you're brave enough. <laughs> we're not right. giving back we're not giving back alley abortion <laughs> advice here. Right, right, we get it. The only we, we get that your only reference for an abortion is that one South Park game where you have to give this one character an abortion, but you actually just have to make sure that you don't uh Remove certain parts. Penguin? Yes. Please don't say anymore. I know. To be honest, that game actually, that part actually did show like, exactly how they did it. How they do it and everything. Just... Didn't they use a vacuum cleaner? No, they didn't use a vacuum cleaner. They actually used the machine. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. The salsa birds aggressively sashay in your general direction. They are here. But it's just not moving to let you... me just kill them. They're. Hear me out. Ori Corio. It's. It's. They're not salsa dancing. They're. They're making salsa. And when you attack them, they. Like. They. They. And they just throw peppers into your eyes. It makes you go blind for five minutes. Everything is pain. Because you attack birds. Yay! Yay! Bird. We need to... We need to find someone who's canonically a leopard seal. No! I will not elaborate Look, why. I am the owner of Twitter now, okay? Uh, and yeah. my first action of being the owner of Twitter is to ban all leopard seal accounts and pictures and posts that referencing leopard seal. <laughs> leopard seals don't have rights. That sounds more racist. They're Pe seals! Penguin, the Donald Trump penguin. No! <laughs> Not even Donald Trump penguin. That's something else penguin. They- they're seals! The... The German party penguin. The no! German party penguin. <laughs> no! I'm not- look, I'm not trying to kill all leopard seals, but I am banning them from social media, because the thing is, leopard okay, seals- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, back up, back up. I just need to say that upon saying the German party penguin, that just instills into my brain, like, like a, f a poorly photoshopped image of like an army of penguins on Normandy Beach. <laughs> no, look, the penguins, the penguins would be on the allies side. I'm telling you, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So actually, uh, if I remember correctly, 
Just remember though, Penguin, it starts with banning them from social media. Well, they're fucking leopard seals, okay? They're f who who cares? I don't want them all dead. I just don't want them talking to me. I don't want them talking to me. I don't want them bullying me. I don't want them. I don't want. Them. <laughs> you know what? I am now canonically a leopard seal. <laughs> I have, I have changed my I species am... to leopard seal. I, I feel like species. You know, I could just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. And now I can't hear what Hatchet is saying because I mute him on my side. I go so far up to get this fucking video, but I will get it for Hatchet. I see. Is it the video where, uh, with the fascist birds? What? Yeah. No! Penguin, you filmed a video of yourself? Fuck you, I am not a fascist. For now. No! I like how we're just making fun of Penguin while Jiri is dying. Jiri's just fucking dying. Should we call an ambulance? Yeah. How long ago did I send that damn video? I, I feel like we should call a doctor or something. It's Good called out coughing up phlegm, dipshit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. uh, as we all know, no needs for German party guys, which means that we're coming for your weird little penguin knees. I do not compare me to those motherfuckers. <laughs> I am not that bad, okay? And okay, you wanna know the second thing I would do after banning all leopard seals? Okay? Ban racism. Racism bad. So My first act is an action of racism. And then ban <laughs> racism. Now that I have instilled <laughs> racism, I am going to ban <laughs> racism. <laughs> yeah, what that's are fine. you? What? I'm sorry. Okay, let's take a moment to talk about the history of redlining and uh, Jim Crow <laughs> laws because that's basically I exactly know. what you're describing. I know. I know. <laughs> why are they looking at me like that? I I know. I know. I wonder why they're looking at you like that. I know. I know the. St I know about redlining, Hatchet. I know. I know. Man, I had no idea leopard seals were so good at looking so judgmental. They look homophobic. I'll get it later, because apparently the original person deleted it. But oh. I know there's another place you can get it. Uh, third, I will ban homophobia. And transphobia. Actually, you know what I'll do first? Instead of banning the leopard seals, I'll ban Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire. That and in all those dumb blocks. I am, I am fine with that. This is a good compliment. The leopard seals will be fine. I'll, I'll put, I'll let the leopard seals come back, and they will eat all. They will eat everyone that works at the Daily Wire. <laughs> you just, you just start launching leopard seals at <laughs> Daily Wire employees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ben Shapiro's like small, short ass, like walks out of the fucking. Like, his rigor mortis ass will fucking, like, walk out of the Daily Wire office, and then boom, leopard seal. Did you know Ben Shapiro has rigor mortis? What? No, he's not a corpse. That's not yes, he works. is. He doesn't have rigor mortis. He's not a corpse. I'm, I'm fine with this conspiracy theory. <laughs> ben, Sh ben Shapiro actually died on the night of 1990s. Uh, of, of January 1st, 1997. The Ben Shapiro that we now know has been, is, is, is a, it's a corpse that's being puppeteered by, by, by the, uh, by, by the, uh... Daily Wire. Yeah, by the Daily You know, Daily the company Wire. that he started, if I remember exactly. correctly. Yeah, he, he's a co-founder of it, along with Jin, along with Bannon. Look, all I'm saying is it's better to conspiracy theorist that Ben Shapiro is a corpse and has Rick and Mortis than being like some weird fucked up anti-semitic shit. Because I feel like a lot of people forget when they talk about Ben Shapiro that he is in fact a Jewish man for better or for worse. Yeah. Because I feel like I know many many Jewish people that fucking despise his guts. 
They want. Yeah. They despise him. They would gladly throw a leopard seal at him. Also, I mean, yeah, surprise, surprise. Not all, not like not not all Jews are on board with, you know, the conflation of being Jewish and needing to be in line with the actions of the Israeli government. No, because no, seriously, how the fuck is Ben Shapiro both Jewish and anti-Semitic? How did it's what? the sort of it's it's like one of the weird side quests. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you, Fredwood, but people can be racist and the thing they are racist against. I know. Yeah. It's just like it's, it's a fundament it's ultimately a fundamental aspect of Zionism. Fascism. Well no, specifically Zionism, because it requires conflating all of all Jews under the banner of we have to take this holy land while also, you know, demanding supremacy for said group, while ignoring the fact that there's a lot of a lot of Jews that aren't on board with this, and they exclude a lot of Jews, especially, you know, the black Jews. I seriously don't understand how people don't get that black yeah, Jewish people exist. A lot of the black Jewish people yeah. are actually more purely Jewish, like, the blood Ethnic. relation, they have more of that than, than the white ones typically do. And I'm so much as that matters to fascists. Jerry, is your- yeah, Jerry is- Jerry, how, fu how, how fucked up is your nose right now? I'm literally bringing that up, because the Jewish pe a lot of Jewish people, for some reason, that's very important. They talk like no, they can't be as much as us. Yeah. Don't you love racism? No, you just called them fascist, Penguin. Wait, what? Huh? I said that was a fascist, uh, the blood thing was fascist. No, I said how fucked up is your nose? No, I, oh. I, I mentioned, I, I, I mentioned, like, I mentioned, like, insofar as that matters to fascists. Yeah, and I said, how fucked up is your nose, Jerry? Yeah. Sorry, and my nose is not fucked up. But Are yeah, sure? I get it, I get it. I'm gonna pause real quick. Cause I know what to do to get the video for Hatchet. I don't know why I didn't think of this. What are you even talking about? Yeah, we still have no idea what the fuck you're on about. <laughs> oh fuck, wait, I just remembered that since it's winter break, I have to tell people on my friend's scratch count page that he is in fact not dead. Uh, and that he is just on winter break because he does not, he as a 17 year old does not have access to the internet. At home because his dad's an asshole. Damn. Well, time to go pe tell people he is not dead. Because. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Oh, he's already covered it. Okay, it's fine. Festive flight, a magical mount for Christmas. Oh my god. We've got a we got a Skyrim mod that lets you write ride Rudolph. Look at this cat. Be home for Christmas. Who is Miss? Right wow, he ah. is he is fucking spread eagle. <laughs> He is having the time of his life. What? Bre Look at what? him. <laughs> Look in the uh, <laughs> VC live streams. But, but oh, also, oh. I don't think that's when the terminology spread eagle should be used. What do you mean? 
you know what? Never mind. Also, this this cat is. Look at this cat. I relate to that cat. Why is the cat cuddling a sweet potato? <laughs> All right, I found I a want... video. I found a video. Catch it. You know the penguin, penguin's enormity thing you were talking about earlier. Uh, Watch that yeah. video. Yeah, actually, yeah, there were there were penguins on the. Uh, there are penguins. It's I think it's somewhere, but it's a minefield, and the only people that can step on the minefield are the penguins because the penguins are too light to set off the mines. Unless it's a fat penguin, in which everyone's fucked. <laughs> Very I good. cannot go on the minefield, I have been banned. So you better not have a McDonald's open near the minefield. <laughs> what? I was making a joke about American obesity. Where right, I was also making a joke about being fat, what? Why? Don't worry about it, Dragon. You'll never know. Remember, kids. Oh, fight you. Better not open McDonald's at Normandy. Why the fuck would they open a McDonald's at Normandy? Just because. Sure. You know what? I'm. Fuck you. I'm sure that there's. Better McDonald's food than us. Actually, wait. Let me look this up. McDonald's. I'm pretty sure Normandy is just like a region in France. Yeah. Oh, there so are there are McDonald's, McDonald's at Normandy. <laughs> wow, then. Better make sure those penguins don't eat them burgers. I never said they were at Normandy. I said they were on a like a minefield. Uh, I the hope fuck? the fa I I hope the fascists are buried underneath McDonald's. Also, the only time I would like to say I was right about. Other countries having better McDonald's than us? Oh yeah. Because there... most most other countries have uh that Yeah. Yeah, most other countries have uh much better food regulation. If you look at that picture, each sandwich has a different cheese. And then also, also, I can explain why a lot of McDonald's outside of the U.S. have better uh, food. So, I'm, if I remember correctly, there's also I think if it was Burger King or McDonald's, but they have tacos, like proper tacos. But the reason that the U.S. does not have food like this is because of wait times. U.S. citizens are so fucking impatient when it comes to getting fast food. That they would rather have really fucking shit food and not have a good variety of different foods. Actually, that's not then... why. What? That's not why. What? Well, that's what I heard. Well, they lied. Well, the fuck is it then? Like what Hatchet was saying, other countries have food, better food regulations. Also, well, it's, yeah, it's that, more also. More rights for workers. I mean, it's also where, that, yeah. Uh, the United States decides, hey, let's let the company decide if they want to murder their own workers or not. Other countries are like, workers should get paid living wages. I feel like it's a mix of both. Yes, it's the food regulations and the workers having more rights. No, and the wait times. No, not wait times. Yeah. It's not the wait time thing. Fast food debates only on the great Dr. Bright stream. I can assure you this is not the only time debates. I work in a fast food place, trust me, it's not the wait time. Oh. And I've also worked at two fast food places, yeah, it's not the wait time either. And yes, one of them was Chick fil A. Ugh. Nice. I work at a fast food place where they literally cook the burger as soon as you order it. So, people are willing to wait for the burger to be freshly cooked. They're willing to wait for a better burger. It's 
not that. Wait, there you go. Is unrelated in any way whatsoever. Okay. I feel like it would probably vary by region, but yeah, yeah. like if if Americans just like could not stand the concept of waiting to get their food, any sit and dine restaurants would immediately go out of business. Also, look how amazing the French signature burgers look. I'm so angry. That looks amazing. Well, it is also food artistry, so it's not yeah. going to look that pretty in reality. I, you know what I want to be brought back? I want the fucking ghost pepper sandwich from Burger King to be brought back. That sandwich was so fucking good. I can't eat any... I can't eat any of the, like, the one spicy item on Burger King's menu because it makes me have, like, really bad, like, uh, gas, like, stomach issues. It makes me have really bad stomach issues. But the, the ghost pepper sandwich didn't, and it was really good, and it was actually genuinely fucking spicy. And they took it away because it was a Halloween only! It was an October only, and I'm sad. I want it back. Why did I... I hate my brain. Did you know McDonald's France has macarons? Yeah, because mm. it's France, and they have macarons. I want macarons back in Pokemon. I want the D French DLC to let us make macarons. I don't give a fuck about anything else. The DLC could be 50 goddamn dollars, and the only thing that they let us do is make macarons. I don't care. I want to make macarons. We still don't know if they're making a DLC. They are making a DLC. They actually announce it? No, but let's be real, it's a money-hungry company. Uh, until they announce it, there's no proof that they're going to do it. It is Game Freak, Bright. Just because it's a company doesn't mean- They are going. owned by Nintendo. They want money. Is there a precedent for Pokemon games having DLC? They want money. And, and not only that, we also don't have- Are not gonna answer my question? What? They also don't have the National Decks, and a lot of people want the National Decks back, and guess, the with sword, uh, sword and Shield, guess what they added with the DLC? National Decks. The National Decks. I guess that answers my question. <clears throat> what? I had asked, is there a precedent for Pokemon games to have DLC? Yes. Not only that, next year they're adding the... So literally all you could have told Hatchet is yes, and you would have answered that question. There's well, only been okay. one game with DLC, though. It's better than buying an entirely second fucking game that only changes very little. <clears throat> for full price. But also... Actually, the DLC was pretty expensive when I heard... It was $30, which isn't a good price, but it's not full fucking price. That's the price of a video game! Well, it's not the price of a Nintendo game, so fucking... It's ch cheaper. But it is very expensive. And I still don't have that DLC. And honestly, I don't really want it. But I do want DLC for this game. One thing is, I really like the Sword and Shield DLC, mainly because you can get my Garchomp in the game. Oh yeah, because Garchomp wasn't in the game originally. Yeah. Which is honestly fucking wild. But also, uh, another people, another reason people are speculating for a DLC is the grayed out area, because we we see it uh, yeah, in Arvin's you've room. Yeah, already said that. In Arvin's room, we see like, the map, so we the grayed out area is probably going to be added, and. Next year, they're updating the game to include a uh, fucking Pokemon Home, which will add, like, unlock all the Pokemon in the game. Or from the national decks. So, and a lot of people don't pay for Pokemon Home because it's really fucking expensive and just bullshit. So, a lot of people are just like, a lot of people would prefer a DLC where you can trade and get the Pokemon in game than pay like $12 a month for some bullshit application where it just holds your Pokemon. 
Okay. I wonder if the I wonder if the Pokemon business is gonna happen again. You probably don't know what I mean by dra dragon, but in Sword and Shield, there was a thing on Amazon where people would sell Pokemon. Oh yeah, no, that's already that's already that's already a thing. Ah. Uh. Yep. I saw someone say that they finished their Pokedex by buying Pokemon off of like eBay and shit to finish their Pokedex. I wanted to do it legit. Yeah. Some people are lazy. I still remember the fact that I was watching AVNJ, the fish biologist I watch. Uh, he did a video where he was looking at fish-related fiber things. And one of the things that popped up that he was laughing at is someone who had no, no orders and whose entire thing was just, I will fish for you in Genshin Impact. <laughs> no, like I, you, I... You pay this person and then they take your account and do all the fishing for you. I can explain why that's a thing. Do you do you do you want to know? I'm guessing fishing in Genshin Impact is annoying. Yes, but also okay. So here's the thing with Genshin Impact fishing and why it's so fucking annoying. So there are several weapons that are locked behind a you have to fish for certain fish in certain locations. Uh, so you have to fish for these certain fish. But the thing is, since the game runs on a oh this works with real time, since it runs on that. Uh, you have to wait, I think it's like a day or two, for the fish to respawn. And some people don't play the, play the game every day, and it's fucking annoying to fish for a weapon that is, like, really fucking good for most characters. Because the, the weapons locked behind fishing are good for most characters. Because, guess what? It, the only way to get a good weapon for certain characters is to either spend money or grind to living hell so yeah people also pay people to log into their accounts to do daily quests for like free primo gems and primo gems are how you pull with the gotcha system the game fucking sucks ass fuck genshin impact it has shit mechanics and the company's greedy as balls which is why you play it consistently yeah it's a i don't i fucking undownloaded it i un uninstalled it Oh, Fuck did that game. you? Oh, okay. Yes. It freed so much. It's also the the game. If you think this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is unoptimized, fucking Genshin Impact takes so much goddamn space just to add one god like one region. It's fucking absurd. I mean, it kind of makes like, yeah, sense it has, when like, we're talking about a a game a game uh, developer that's only like previous to this seemed to only work in mobile games. Yeah. Genshin Impact is still also a mobile game. And, like, there are a lot of really well-optimized mobile games, but it, it's also the place where you expect the least optimization yeah. in the gaming world. Yeah. I, I say this as someone who's been relentlessly playing a lot of mobile games to, to get reward points. But only that, it's just... A lot of people defend the company being really fucking racist by saying, Oh, but they're a Chinese company. Ignoring the fact that there are several devs in China that have far better representation in diverse skin tones. Also, and it's, it's why take in their game? the Kingdom of Kush and then make it white? I don't know. Yeah, like, the... Like, this just ignores colorism as a race as a racial aspect of cultures yeah like fucking i hate nadia i hate you want to see a bitch i fucking despise i hate her design it's so goddamn shit i hate this fucking child i want to pick her up and i want to throw her into the fucking sun but the only issue is she's so goddamn pale she's brighter than the sun she would cause the sun to explode she would make the sun have fucking anxiety because of how Ow. fucking blinding white she is she Ow, is light that, mode. That, that that fucking toddler. I hate her. 
looking at that image with a migraine actually hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> she is so ugly. I hate her. And not wow. only that, her fans are also really fucking creepy because it, despite her being 500 years old, she is still acts like a child and is in the body of a child. So yeah, you could probably... Ah! Anyway, that's uh... I a... Mean, I mean, you know my position with that stuff. I but, hate yeah. her. I hate her. That's oh. all for now. Uh, Jerry, last words, go. I wanted to see the shiny. Well, I only tend to get shinies around 800 to 1,000 encounters. I'm at 500. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm really close. So, I'll probably get it tomorrow. Nice. I'm at work. Oh no! I'll I'll make sure to send a picture of it to you. Okay. I'll make sure to do that. Cause I know you. I'll you, take it. You want to see I'll that? I'll take it streams at the same time tomorrow. Yeah. Not sure if I'll be around at the start of it then, but me. Eh. Yeah. Uh. So. So is that your final words, Jerry? Yeah. All right. Dragon. Last words. Go. I fucking hate Genshin Impact. Fuck Genshin Impact. It's a shit game. To be honest, Fuck everything about Genshin Impact. Fuck the fact that all the little kids that they have in the game are all little girls wearing shit that average little girls would not be fucking wearing. Fuck Genshin Impact. Fuck everything about it. Fucking it. It's ass. To be, to be honest, I still want to finish the story. You will never finish that fucking story because it is ass and they keep drawing it on and using the same fucking trope over and over again. It They are dragging it out like living hell. It's fucking ass. Okay, I do not whatever. recommend. Well, I still have videos on the channel so I do have to at least keep going with it eventually. The story is not worth it, Bright. It is care. not worth it. I really don't care, Dragon. Anyway, hatchet, last words, go. And remember, kids, insider trading is the illegal practice of trading in a public company's stock by someone who has non-public material information about the company. What? That's true, but random. Alright. Anyway. Did you know... Alright, my last words. Did you know in the country of Ohio... Pe people feed cats dog meat. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I died at. Did you know in the country of Ohio? Yeah. I, I didn't hear Ohio... anything after that point. I what said, did you say after that? I said that. Did you know that people feed uh, cats dog meat? I don't understand. I thought they just fed. I thought they just fed everything corn. <laughs> Not that corn, the grain corn. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, Danger Noodles. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on your mission next time. <laughs>